I've really been paying a lot of attention to this okra since it's the weather's gotten cooler and it started growing again because it really stunted during the dry weather. There was no rain, we couldn't water them, and it really caused a lot of issues. So one thing that I noticed is that it looks like basically during the heat without water, they just dry rotted and you, they're pretty fragile on both of them. That's kind of what it reminds me of, like a dry red wa wood rot, excuse me. I don't know if they ended up getting an infection because there's some discoloration here, but I did notice that they basically sprung up these new branches since it's been cooler and that's been growing and that there's a lot of height coming back on a few of them like this one right down the center same thing it rotted and then once the weather got a little cooler it started growing again and it's actually for a very small plants because they sun it they're actually producing a good a decent amount of okra i wouldn't say it's the greatest because if these plants were as big as they should be, they're lacking several feet in height. They really should be. I would think, oak around here usually get six to eight feet tall easily and produce a ridiculous amount per plant. And what I'm getting from all plants should just be coming from one a day. So that part's kind of sad. I do want to try to give this okra another chance next year because this is a heavy hitter okra. So it was supposed to produce enormous amount. And I know there were a lot of issues with the weather and everything else this year. And looks like some issues with disease, as you can see here and here. But I don't really know enough about okra. It usually just grows really well. I don't have to worry about pests or diseases. So that's never been an issue until now. Here's a smaller okra. And some of these plants didn't even get that tall. Like this one's not like maybe two feet. It's an extremely small plant. So there was a lot of stunting. I don't know if I ended up with just a bad batch because even under terrible weather conditions before, I've never had this kind of issue with okra. So I'm just kind of at a loss. See, even these, the tops are fairly healthy. They're just not growing well. The bottoms got really long because okra has a huge taproot that goes into the ground. So they got really thick. At the bottom, I can see the taproot going down. I'm, this one needs to grow a little bit more. You can see it's still covered in flowers. Here, this flower is actually falling off to reveal the okra there. Um, so this plant's covered in young okra and flowers still. So I definitely know that if they were taller, they would have produced a lot more. It's actually an okra on the other side. I'm going to walk around and get... I had to pause for a second because somebody was fixing something in their truck on the road and my basset hound went crazy. He does, he loves barking even when there are no strangers, but especially when there are people in the yard. If you hear clinging, even though it's finally in the high 60s, I'm still drinking iced coffee because that's just what I, what I do. It turns out I put so much creamer into coffee that I just need to drink it cold instead of hot most of the time. So, in between this okra, I planted this plant just because I found a random tiny basil in between all my plants in the other garden. And at that point, I only had one or two leaves. And it's actually growing a little bit. I might trim it back. I'm Actually, let me go ahead and pinch the flowers off. And I got some leaves. I'll set it here because I'll actually use this, the flowers too, for seasoning. And looks like some of these aren't so great, so... And then I really want it to bush out a little more. So I'm just going to go ahead while I'm out here and pinch all of these tops out. 
and see what happens if it will grow and pinch out more. It's really shot up since the weather turned, which is great because one of my favorite things in the world is to make strawberry basil lemonade or basil tea. Um, this is a sweet basil, so it's good in everything. And this is just one that has read it, seed itself for years and years. <clears throat> and when I saw it over there that I reseeded, I put it in here because there was room between the okra because they weren't really growing. Oh. I'm fighting the urge to cough a little bit because all of this change in weather brings a change in allergies. I'm definitely feeling it today. So here's another pretty good size okra down here. It's pretty much the perfect size. I like them out. But it just amazes me how small these plants are and they're still producing that's why I haven't pulled them out because they don't have anything to put the, in their place just yet I have my seed trees and lights and starter soil so I really need to start kel and lettuce for the fall months because the weather's finally cool enough to do that um, this one's pretty good size I'm actually amazed it's shot up in height several inches so you can see this one doesn't look like it has any wood rot it just stunted and now it's growing up again okra because it'll continue to grow until you have a freeze or it just gets way too cold will probably continue to grow through the rest of this month and depending on the weather in November maybe through that but I have had plants here where we didn't get a freeze until January and they will just grow all year round. Um, I made a video and posted it a couple years ago where I was growing green beans in December. It was 86 degrees outside. So the weather can be quite unpredictable here, which makes it challenging if you're just learning to grow in and around the Houston area, trying to figure out what to grow because it doesn't always make sense. This one's actually kind of big. There are actually quite a few growing on this plant and several flowers. It's one of the bushier okras that we have. So it's kind of an overview of the chaos that's going on with our okra plants. I don't really know what to think about all of it. I've never seen them so small before. All I could think is at first I thought, well, maybe it's the extreme drought combined with the disease and the city not allowing us to water them. But at the same time, a lot of areas, okra thrive in humid, hot weather or dry, hot weather. So I'm thinking maybe the humidity rotted them with it. and everything else going on just made for unhealthy plants. And now they're trying to spring back. But honestly, I really don't know. Um, I might try the heavy hitter okra from a different seed company and see if that helps. I did save some seeds from these okras. So I'm gonna plant a few of them next year, not a ton, maybe six, and see if they have the same issues as the parent plants. Because if they don't, then I know that it was an issue outside of genetics. But if I do, then I will think, okay, this is probably a bad batch of okra and try something else. I've always had such good luck with the regular Clemson Spineless and the heavy hitter okra were taken from Clemson Spineless and perfected to grow a ton of okra which I have not experienced. So I'm pretty disappointed but I do have really good seeds from the Clemson Spineless that did incredible two years ago and I'm going to try planting those next year early and get them established as soon as the weather is warm enough. I may even do transplants, which I know okra doesn't necessarily transplant well, but I've gotten pretty good at it. These I direct seeded and it did not turn out so great. And then actually over here in my blackberry plant, I have one very random okra plant in all of this. And it actually has like very sad gnarled okra on it. But sometimes the okra get like this, they're a little hard, but usually that hasn't been the case. You can see it's just randomly in here. This is the only thing that's survived by the blackberries, which is crazy. So, so far I can say that my experience with this okra has not been great. Um, 
I think I may have got the seeds from Baker's Creek. Pretty sure that's where I got them because I remember the colorful seed packet. I'll have to go back in my previous videos and look, but if anyone else has had some similar issues with okra this year, do you mind letting me know in the comment section? Or maybe if you've seen wood rot like this on okra before, let me know. Um, if there's some kind of pest pressure or disease that I'm not aware of that's happening and you've seen it before, I'd love to know about it because I really was hopeful with this okra, hoping that it would do well. I'm actually quite disappointed that it didn't do as well as I expected. So thank you guys for all your help and seeing both the positive sides and the negative sides of okra this season. I think that this has been the worst okra season we've ever had. So getting to share that experience does make it feel a little better. And it's something that all of us, especially I, can learn from and in the next few seasons, go back, see these videos, and see the different issues that we had, and maybe by then I'll actually know how to solve them.